Hello everyone, I'm Khadija Sakli. I'm a PhD student at Sidi Mohammed bin Abdullah University. And today I'll be presenting our paper entitled Barry Pack Thermal Modeling, Simulation and Electric Model Identification that we have done in collaboration with the LIS Laboratory at Marseille University. The main goal of this work was to build a thermal management system using air cooling approach and then extract the necessary data to uh, build an electrothermal battery model that can be used to estimate the battery states. A thermal management system is a crucial component for safe operation of the lithium-ion battery pack. It dissipates the generated heat during operation to keep the cell's temperature inside the optimum range of operation. There are different cooling approaches with different complexity level and cost. In the study, we choose air cooling method as it's the most straightforward and cost effective method used to mitigate the temperature increase, especially in parallel connected cells. To study the thermal behavior of the lithium ion battery pack and temperature distribution inside the, the, the pack, we considered an 18650 lithium ion battery with a nominal capacity of 12 ampere hour and a nominal voltage of 4.7 volts. Then, using console multiphysics software, the battery was built in two phases. First, a 1D electrochemical model that describes the inner physical behavior of the battery. The second phase consists of a 3D battery model that describes the temperature distribution inside the cell and the performance of the thermal management system. Next, we use the average generated heat and the average temperature to couple, to couple both uh, the 1D and the 3D cell model. The battery pack geometry opted for the sake of the study is illustrated in this figure here. It consists of three parallel connected cylindrical cells linked together by small connecting strips of aluminium placed at the top and the bottom of each cell. The battery pack is placed in a compartment where air flows to cool down the cells. The cell's initial state of charge was set at 10% and the initial temperature at 25 degrees Celsius. Then the developed battery back was simulated at three different inlet velocity to find the optimum value for our case of study. The battery pack was charged and discharged continuously for 1500 seconds using alternating currents at 7.5 C rate, followed by a relaxation period of 900 seconds. The figure in this slide shows the temperature distribution inside the three cells of the battery pack as air flows at three different inlet velocity. In our case, a 6 meter per second inlet velocity was sufficient to keep the temperature of the three cells under the maximum permitted value. Now we arrive at the second part of our paper, which is the development of the electrothermal battery model. The majority of battery management systems use equivalent circuit models to predict the battery states and determine its parameters thanks to their simplicity and robustness. In this study, a first order equivalent circuit model was selected. The model contained an open circuit voltage, a series resistance, and one RC block. The estimation process of the electric model parameter starts first by fixing the battery temperature at the desired value, then we apply a succession of discharge pulses to the battery model that we have developed previously in Compson Multiphysics, then we use the acquired data to estimate the electric model parameters. The figure in this slide illustrates the agreement between the simulated output voltage and the measured output voltage derived from the electrochemical battery model. At the end of the simulation, the relative sum square error changed by 6.77 10 to the power of minus 5, which shows the ability of the developed model uh, to emulate with accuracy the dynamic behavior of the paper. We developed a battery thermal management system for three parallel connected cells, and we used the acquired data to build an electrothermal battery model that gives accurate results. The model can be further improved to take into account hysteresis and other aging factors that impact the battery performance. To be able finally with the appropriate estimation approaches to accurately predict the battery states. Thank you for your attention.